Here with Rochester head coach Wendy Andrietta and senior Nancy Bonsbach after their 2 0 victory over Franklin and Marshall in the second round of the NCAA tournament. Coach, opening statement about the game. Um, I was really proud of the way the team came out. Um, they were really ready to play. They played with fire. They played with a lot of aggressive but contained play, and I thought that they controlled the game very well today. Um, this was a huge team win for us. I think every single person stepped up to um, the occasion today, especially our goalie, um, Jaws, and every single line, defense, midfield, offense. We all really put it together, worked together as a team, and brought our best game. As the game went along, it was kind of like a chess match, as you would say. Not a lot was going on. Just kind of talk about that opening goal that you guys were able to put together. Um, that was huge. It was really a team effort. We had a great shot from up top, and we were able to capitalize on the rebound. Um, we did it with fire. We all went to the ball, and we just were so determined to put it in that we wouldn't give up and let anything else happen. Coach, kind of talk about the play of your goaltender. Um, she made eight saves. A bunch of them were huge in the first half. Just kind of talk about her play overall and how that momentum helped your team get to the victory that you guys did. Um, she's definitely one of the, the key players on our defensive unit. Um, she, with our three senior backs, have really controlled the backfield really well. But today, Jaws really had the most amazing game of her career. She, um, she, the stick save she had, she had a few really amazing acrobatic saves, and she just has had the season of a lifetime so far. It's been wonderful to watch. In the second half there, um, I think you guys were still up one nothing, and the card was issued. Um, just kind of talk a little, and it, it kind of actually seemed like you guys played better after that card whenever you were down a man. Just kind of talk a little bit about the changes that you made during that card and how it led to the second goal. Right. Um, so after the card, we definitely switched up our lineup a little bit just to compensate for the man down situation because with a yellow card, it's five minutes. So it was good to regroup and assess where we were and kind of the priorities of killing a penalty. Um, and I think just the idea of killing the penalty focused us more on a possession hockey game rather than, you know, a little bit of a chess match, as you called it. <laughs> which is true. So I think that shifted our momentum um, back to being a little bit more possessive of the game. Going to face Rowan tomorrow. As we were driving over here, you guys are really excited about the challenge. Just kind of talk a little bit about what you've seen from them this year and what are going to be some of the challenges that you guys are going to have to face going into that game. Um, so Rowan's a really respectable team. Um, they're playing at home, so we're going to bring all the energy we can. Uh, we made the trip for a reason. We're ready to bring our very best game, even better than today, and there's nothing to do but just step up your game every time um, we step foot on that field. So that's what we're going to do next. And, Coach, basically the same question from you. Um, what have you seen from Rowan, and what are you going to tell your team heading into that game tomorrow? Um, we want to neutralize a lot of their speed. They have a really fast uh, set of forwards that we know. And with an undefeated season, I think there's a little more pressure on them than us. It's kind of nice to be the underdog. And I think we're ready for that. And we'd love to hand them the first loss of the season.